one does not simply walk into Mordor. The land of shadow. Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Uh, today's Shadowcast is a celebration of J.R.R. Tolkien's birthday. Um, every year on January 3rd, uh, fans of Professor Tolkien have an annual toast uh, to the professor every year. Um, uh, I usually post on Fridays, uh, but I didn't want to miss the Tolkien toast this year, so I decided to go ahead and make my shadow cast uh, for this week uh, on Tuesday, which is January 3rd, and of course, uh, Professor Tolkien's birthday. Uh, this annual event was started by the Tolkien Society back in the 1970s, uh, and we here in Mordor have celebrated this particular day every year since 1998. Um, and this particular year, uh, Tolkien would have been 131 years. So it's time to celebrate. Um, the toast itself is fairly simple. Uh, at 9 p.m., your time, your particular time, uh, alone or with friends, you raise a glass of your favorite beverage and say, the professor. Uh, then, in classic British toasting tradition, uh, you take a draught of whatever fiery liquid you have in your glass. Um, I created a Tolkien toasting video, which you can watch as you make your toast. Uh, you can click on the link up in the corner or the one, above, or the one below to watch our toasting video. Uh, it has also become a tradition on social media to post a video or photo of your toast for the world to see. Um, I'm going to make my toast, of course, uh, tonight at 9 p.m., and I will go ahead and post that um, either on uh, Twitter or on Instagram or both. So anyway, uh, secondly, I wanted to share uh, some of the Christmas goodness I received under the tree this year. Um, as you can see, I got a framed map of Middle Earth as well as five token themed books. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with the map. Um, it's, it's a frame map that uh, uh, one of my family members gave me uh, of Middle Earth, which I think they got on Etsy from a site called uh, uh, PJS. Uh, it's a wonderful little map, and it's, I like the size of it because lots of times uh, I need to have quick reference uh, to a map of Middle Earth. Uh, and this is nice, a wonderful size for doing that. So I'm going to be, you'll probably be seeing this in some of the videos. Uh, but anyway, a uh, nice uh, gift and very thankful for that. Um, I did want to show you this too. Uh, this is a little Christmas mouse, I suppose, it, which was attached to one of the items. And uh, it, to be honest with you, it sort of reminds me of one of the goblins in Tolkien's uh, Father Christmas Letters. If you look really closely, there is a little bit of resemblance there. Uh, if you're not familiar with uh, uh, Father Christmas Letters, uh, one of T Tolkien's uh, uh, books that was actually published by uh, uh, his son, uh, it's a collection of letters that, uh, um, that he sent to his children uh, about a character called Father Christmas, which is probably uh, very similar to Santa Claus. Uh, anyway, that's not a book I received this year, but it's one that I absolutely love. And I just thought I'd show that to you. Uh, one of the books that I did receive is uh, J.R.R. Tolkien's uh, Tales from the Perilous Realm. And this is a collection of Tolkien's uh, short stories um, that I'm sure you have all heard of. Um, it's a selection of some of his shorter stories, uh, some that sort of overlap a little bit into Middle Earth and some not. Uh, but anyway, it's a beautifully uh, uh, presented uh, paperback. And of course, it has uh, illustrations by Alan Lee, which of course I absolutely love, one of my favorite uh, Tolkien artists. 
Um, but anyway, um, just wanted to share that. Uh, next, I got uh, something I've been hoping to get my hands on. I was very lucky to get this year, but it is uh, The Fall of Numenor, uh, which is edited by Brian Silby, a famous uh, and well-known uh, Tolkien scholar. Um, anyway, it's uh, illustrated by Alan Lee, uh, and it it is sort of like a collection of all the Numenorean stories uh, that sort of are spread through the Silmarillion and the Unfinished Tales and in other places uh, where Tolkien made notes about Numenor. So I think what this is, I haven't read it yet, of course, but is a collection of all of that in one place, in one book. Uh, and I have a feeling over the next couple of years, this is gonna come in very handy because of the uh, work that I'm probably gonna be doing on the uh, ongoing series, The Rings of Power, uh, and the story of Numenor, of course, is central uh, to that series. Uh, so anyway, it's a beautifully uh, presented book. It also has illustrations by Alan Lee, uh, some of which are color. I'll show that to you. Uh, here you are. You can see some of the color plates in there also. And of course, it has this beautiful uh, silk uh, bookmark built into the book. I always love those. Uh, but anyway, it's a, it's a beautifully presented and published work, and I am so happy to have it. Uh, next, we have something I've been wanting is a hardback edition of the Silmarillion. I have several uh, paperbacks that I've been using over the last year or so uh, and before uh, to, to access uh, the stories of the Silmarillion. You know, the second and first, second and, and third ages are covered here. Uh, but this is also a beautifully presented book. It has illustrations by Tolkien himself and it also has a, a beautiful um, uh, silk uh, bookmark in it that is uh, sort of a gray silver, which is appropriate for the Silmarillion. And uh, the, uh, it has uh, illustrations by Tolkien in color and in black and white and maps, which you know I absolutely love. It has these beautiful, beautiful maps. I think this particular map of Belerand is uh, created by Tolkien himself. And then here in the back, it also has a second map. This is one I think that was created for the original Silmarillion, possibly uh, illustrated by uh, uh, Christopher Tolkien. A beautiful, beautiful map. And then it has this wonderful green. And then you can see the internal pages here. It's a very dense book. A lot of lot packed in here. Uh, so I'm very excited about this one and just wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, next, I have uh, sketches from Bag End to Mordor. Uh, and this is based actually on... Uh, the works of Alan Lee, uh, and, uh, I'm sorry, John Howe, on the work, this is based on the works of John Howe, and uh, if you look, if you go to his website, johnhowe.com, it, uh, he has uh, a section of illustrations that is titled, uh, Sketches from Bag End to Mordor, and uh, so this book is sort of based on that idea, um, and it is just a beautiful, you can just even see from the cover how beautifully uh, done it is. Uh, and it has beautiful sketches within, and I think a lot of um, uh, written text by uh, John Howe about the different locations and different things he has illustrated both uh, for himself for books and, of course, for the films, The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit films, which he was involved in in all of those. Uh, so anyway, I just, uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful book and just wanted to share uh, that with you and uh, 
so anyway, I'll move on to the next one, but this is going to be one of the, my favorites in my uh, Tolkien collection. Uh, and lastly, I have this, which is Pictures by J.R.R. Tolkien. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, um, hard hardback edition, uh, and I think it may be based in part on the illustrated book of Tolkien that I, I have a copy of that, but that's a much thicker book. This looks like it might maybe just has color plates in it. Uh, but anyway, I have not opened this yet. It still has the plastic cover on it. So I'm going to open it in front of you guys now and you get to see uh, me see this for the first time. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see if I can get this open. Yeah, this end right here looks like uh, what I need to open. So I'm gonna put a slit right down here uh, with my knife. It's my uh, actual letter opener. Gonna go ahead and open that up and let you guys see this for the first time along with me. And, uh, ooh, I just, ooh, I can tell you right off the bat, I love the feel of this. It has a, almost like canvas. You know, it's like holding canvas in your hand. Uh, so let's go ahead and open that up. And you can see the um, the beautiful cover on that. It's like a beautiful hardback sleeve. And this is what's on the inside. And we have smog on the back, smog. <laughs> anyway, uh, and Tolkien's signature. Uh, and let's take a peek here of what we've got. I'm gonna kind of show it to you guys from down here so you can see it as I see it. And it's, wow. Oh yeah, it has some of his most famous um, pieces. And I love, uh, you know, the work that he did, has done, his particular visual style has always been attractive to me. Uh, and, you know, for him to be both such a prolific um, writer, but also an artist to illustrate his world. I think it was real important for him to try and illustrate the world of Middle Earth because, you know, in many ways it's very grounded, but it's also very uh, fantastical. And they're just things that I think he wanted everybody to see as he saw them in his mind. Uh, but anyway, these are beautiful plates, uh, enlarged, high resolution, very, very, very beautiful. Yeah, it's got some of my favorite uh, drawings in here also. So this is just a real treasure. I will definitely be uh, spending time looking at this and enjoying uh, every moment of this, of this one. So anyway, uh, that sort of uh, wraps it up for today. Uh, part of my Tolkien celebration. Uh, enjoyed getting all of those presents um, from under the tree. Um, and I just want to say before I wrap up that um, in my next shadow cast, I'm hoping I will begin my review of the first season of The Rings of Power. Uh, I have a feeling it's going to be spread over several videos because I have, the more I've delved into it, the more I realize I have a lot to say. I also want to comment on the social, uh, social media element of what's happened with this series. Uh, which is a, telling you I have a lot to say about it. Um, uh, as always in Mordor, uh, you're going to get the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, so this is going to be a pretty rocky video. It may ruffle some feathers, but I'm going to tell it like it is because that's what we do here in Mordor. Uh, because, as you know, we bow to no one. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed our celebration of the Tolkien Toast, which is gonna come later tonight. And I'll uh, do a quick uh, video of that and post it online. Uh, and also the books that I shared today that, uh, that sort of appeared under the tree. Um, but I also wanted to uh, just tell you guys, I wanted to wish you a happy uh, new year and hope you guys are enjoying uh, 2023 so far. Um, and so until next time, I hope to see you traveling down the secret paths of the old forest along the dark borders of the